right, so let's uh, crack straight into it. Let me import the two clips we'll be working with uh, today. Uh, we need to scale them, scale them both to frame size in order to match the sequence uh, settings. So if it wasn't obvious uh, from before, we're going to create a uh, seamless transition from one frame to another by uh, using uh, masking. For that, uh, in your shots, you need to have a person or an object to occupy part of it, part of the frame in its entirety. Uh, similarly to our Vin Diesel lookalike guy is doing here. So we need to go to uh, the Opacity tab and click on the Pen tool and start creating our, our mask. And don't worry for, um, for scenes like this uh, that are moving uh, fast from one point to another. The, the mask doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be perfect. We zoomed out, uh, zoomed in a little bit there to kind of get the ball rolling on the mask. And here we can go outside of the frame. Uh, it makes no, uh, no difference. So now, uh, in order to, to see how our frame is going, we should be clicking on inverted and have this switched like this. And then we also have to animate our mask. And for that, you gotta click on the stopwatch here, the toggle animation button. As you can see, it created a uh, uh, a keyframe here, which is gonna be the start of our masking. So this is the start of our masking, but here we need to uh, to move it out of the frame, uh, and as such, we created another keyframe. So our um, our mask only begins at the right time, which is here. And we're going to use the arrow keys in order to uh, go frame by frame and to um, to continue with our masking. I would recommend dragging and dropping the mask like this because it keeps the shape of the dude's head and it's easier for you to just drag these points backwards rather than having to, to do it the, uh, the opposite way. I'll uh, speed this, uh, this up for you and I'll uh, see you in a bit. Alright, so let's see what we came up with. I think it looks good. It's a clean transition moving from one shot to another seamlessly. I like it. The only thing that I would change is for the folks in the background to be uh, moving in the opposite direction. I think it just looks better if they would kind of follow Vin. Uh, we are going to use the effect called horizontal flip. And yes, you guessed it right, it horizontally flipped our footage. So now it looks like this. I like it. I hopefully uh, you liked uh, the tutorial as well and uh, you'll be able to use this in your own footage as well. Until next time, take care.